The United States government just asked us to save the world. Anybody want to say no? 20 years. They haven't turned you down once. Not about to start now. I'm there. I guess I can't let you go up to the world. I'm with you. You all right, Max? I, I don't... I, I don't... Whatever you think. What about you? Well, let's see. That's two weeks from today. That would be a Thursday. Jeez, I don't know, man. I am so jammed up with meetings and my personal trainer, and I, I got aromatherapy at three. You know, I, I'd love to help you save the world, but I, I think that Friday would be a lot better for me if you could, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say if we can do it Friday, I'd have to cancel a hair appointment, but, you know, what the heck, we're talking about the entire planet, so Friday works, I'm in. All right, then. Here we go. Years ago, vegetables rule the earth. I want to see that booty attitude. You don't ever hit a man when his pants are down. Talk Soup Weekly wrap up the show that won't take crap from anybody. Yeah. I'm John Henson, and don't you start with me. Hey, you guys know what Saturday is? What? Come on, man. It's my birthday. Yeah, huh? Duh, come on. I've been telling you about it all week, silly. Yeah. Are there any cards? Uh, no. Are there, are there any voicemails? Uh, no. Presents? Tristripogram? Sema? Nope, nope, and nope. Come on, nothing? Well, we got you this graphic, and we've got a full hour of really terrific talk show highlights. Oh, great. Big deal. Who wants to watch a bunch of stupid talk show clips? Except you fine people. Coming up, a man wears breast implants for a full year. Hey. Yeah, that'll be cool. fun. And Zulu Warriors group to country music. That's, yeah. that's always a crowd pleaser right there. Plus, an aerobics instructor gets tied clean and all dirty. Let it dingle dangle between your legs. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You dingle dangle too, huh? Yeah. Well, you, you'd never know to look at you. <laughs> First up... <laughs> Try to stay with us, Tom. <laughs> Melissa's a special gal with special needs. Kinky needs. Might have something to do with the fact that she works as a dominatrix. Apparently, she's bringing her work home with her. Oh, yeah. You can take the girl out of the dungeon, etc., etc. Anyway, Melissa thinks her boyfriend, Mike, is a great guy, but what she wants is someone a bit more intense. Like... Say, the Marquis de Sade on Viagra. <laughs> in this Jerry clip, we'll meet Melissa's bisexual lover, Jelena, and learn more about her disturbing desires. Nothing. I treat him like a god. The bills are paid, he gets dozens of roses, okay. car payments paid, which way, okay, everything. Okay, everything. The god that I am, though, because... Okay, which, what, what's going to happen now? You guys going to still go ahead and... Are you forcing... I, are you I, asking her to make I'm a choice? I'm willing to do what I can to make it work because I do love him. But, but he's happy? also, Obviously you're not happy. Are you also asking her? to give a little bit more from his side too because I've told you and I've told you again and again, I wouldn't have strayed if you would have been giving me what I needed. What, what is it you're not getting? Real sex. I need hair pulling, ass slapping. <laughs> Hey, Melissa, I think we found your dream lover, right, Marv? Yeah. Oh, where are you going to take her on your first date? Downtown. Oh, I bet. Hey, Missy's girlfriend went in on the action. That a problem? It's good for three. Oh, Marv. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Yeah, He's good like that. Monday on Jerry, lovers will battle mistresses. 
Guests include a lesbian named Sparkles who's been cheating on her girlfriend. And here's the shocker. With a man! <laughs> Yet another twist on the whole lesbian love triangle thing. That's Springer. He's like Shaq. Until you can stop his power game, don't expect a fadeaway. Oh. <laughs> Good old mom. Baking cookies in the kitchen, cleaning baby's bottom, wearing see-through blouses, and sexing up the boys at the bowling alley. <laughs> hey, that doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> well, now you know how 15-year-old Sasha feels. She's embarrassed by her mom's nasty attire. Let's see if Sally can help. She's just jealous because she can't wear skimpy clothes. I'll tell you something right now, Mom. You're 36, year old, 36 years old. I'm 15. I'll be 16 here soon. You should not wear stuff like that. You've had four kids. You need to respect it. Your oldest daughter's graduated high school this year. You have an 11 year old and a 9 year old son. Yeah. Don't dress like that. Dress like a <laughs> Clothes are not your being a mother part. Thank you. You have this clothes that everybody sits and disses you because you wear this kind of clothes. Would you rather be made fun of? Do you like to be made fun of? I make fun right back. They're just jealous because they can't do it. Yeah. What about... What does the word appropriate mean to you? <laughs> Black butter mini skirts, uh, lace see-through shirts, a lot of makeup, high heels. <laughs> that be appropriate? Walmart, Kmart, Kroger's. Attention, Attention Kmart, Kmart shoppers. shoppers. We've, We've got, got a blue light special in aisle five on single moms who dress like tarts. Get them fast, fast, fellas. They're hot to trot. If you're a fan of short skirts and stretch marks, get your tail on over to aisle five. It's a blue light special, boys. Also on sale, Diet Right Soda, just $4.99 a case. Monday, Sally screens video footage of some of the most dramatic and unbelievable things you could ever imagine. The clips will include near-death experiences, amazing rescues, and frightening animal encounters. You'll never believe how big Tommy Lee really is. 19-year-old John of Sonoma, California has a most unsettling problem. Nipples pop up on his chest like Starbucks in a strip mall. At last count, there were three, but now he's grown a fourth. So what should he do about the extra nubs? Well, I'd suggest consulting the Loveline crew and JAG star Catherine Bell. You know how, like, animals have a line of nipples? Humans, as they're evolving, have a line, too, uh, a nipple line. It's right, it's right multiple, below my left one. Multiple nipples, okay. and they, as part of human development, those resorb. And some people, they don't resorb all the way, and they're left with what's called supranumerary nipples. And is there going to be any kind of medical problems nope. in the future? Nope, no, no. no. What it's about just, the fourth one? Is that just, is there going to be a fifth and a sixth? It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things, John. Okay. Uh, well, can't, and wouldn't one... I mean, unless you're unless you you're, you're going to uh, 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 suckle your uh, brood or, or yeah, a litter, a litter. <laughs> litter. Um, so these are, as, as, well, couldn't you get rid of them? Or just put some duct tape over them I or suppose, something? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Well, they can get rid of. Are they yeah. hooked up to any plumbing? No, a little bit. But uh, the the point <laughs> is that these things. You don't know. No, there's a little. This is actually a nipple developed there, and and yeah. they as as part of development, they sort of break down and uh, sort of devolve into, into nothing. But you, uh, one could remove a, 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 a mole or yeah, something I, like that. And then most of the supernumerary nipples, just people just think they have an extra mole. It's just a mole. And it looks typically like a mole. Sometimes they're a little more developed than that, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's a normal thing. Uh, if it's unsightly or bothers you, I'm sure there are plastic surgeons out there that can take care of it. No, I kind of like it. You know, my roommate got busted for growing nipples on his balcony. Really? Yeah. He claimed he didn't know they were nipples, and he was just uh -oh. using them for medicinal purposes and stuff. Woody Harrelson bailed him out of jail, though. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool like that, yeah. definitely. Monday on Loveline, Jeremy London will share what he knows about doing the nasty. The actor plays Griffin on the Fox series Party of Five, which sounds a lot like a Loveline topic, if ever there was one. Okay then, math majors, time for a word problem inspired by our next primetime country highlight. Now listen closely. If Gary Chapman exploded a barrel of grits with dynamite, what is the velocity of the hurling hominy after it's launched? Remember, folks, velocity equals time multiplied by acceleration, and there is no air resistance. Everyone ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. then get out your number twos and get to work. We've got a kind of a southern tradition we're going to initiate this very night. We have red white and blue grits okay there's some red grits and we're gonna have to have us some white grits 
Little white grits. Now, if there are any of you uh, audience members, any fans nearby, please stand back. We don't want the grits to hit the fan, if you know what I'm saying. All right, now we'll go over here, and no celebrations complete without some blue grits. And we've got a considerable amount of gunpowder in the bottom of this thing. And you got to have biscuits. If you got grits, you must have biscuits. All right. Fire in the hole. Now, kids, don't try this at home, okay? Oh, happy 4th of July, America. Okay, who solved the equation? Anybody? I, I don't know. Yeah, Tom? Yeah, no, no. I don't know. All right, well, I'm just going to leave it up there until somebody works it out, because... Who is that? What is, what's going on over there? Excuse me, wait a second. Don't go anywhere. You solved the equation. That's right. The grits were moving at a velocity of 29.4 meters per second. That's incredible. Why are you just a, a lowly janitor? Well, who are you calling lowly? What about your ex-wife? You get over her yet? Hey, you disrespect my ex-wife again, and I will end you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Monday on Primetime Country is the Crown of Jewels Night. The jewels of country music will include Earl Scruggs, Leroy Parnell and Mark Miller. Earl Scruggs. Scruggs. Yeah. Stay tuned, Soup Fanatics. We got more mayhem on the way. Coming up, two incestuous babes break the ultimate taboo. Plus, a gay man is heckled for his lack of gayness. But first, a stern message from Magic Johnson. The thing you need to work on, in my estimation, seriously, is that you've got to stop trying to talk like the white man. He was not just another kid actor. Well, he had a kind of understanding about life that was pretty amazing. There was a vulnerability underneath it. It's not me. I think he thought he was invulnerable. Hey, I, what do you mean heroin? I don't even eat meat. And he was just completely strung out. He said, you have a demon dancing on your shoulder. He was in a flat line, which meant there was no heart activity whatsoever. Yeah, there's no need to overstay. You're welcome. River Phoenix, tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific on the E! True Hollywood Story. I have astigmatism, and I've tried everything, so I don't have to wear these glasses all the time. I want soft contacts, but I've always been told if I want to see clearly, I'm stuck with these, but not anymore. Now there's Focus, the soft contacts made for people with astigmatism, and if you call this number, you can get a sample pair of Focus free. With Focus, I see great, crisp and clear, and I'm not always stuck in glasses. Check the yellow pages for the JCPenney optical nearest you for all your needs in eyeglasses, contacts, and eye care. Smooth, sexy legs you'd think were waxed in the salon. Until now. <laughs> Introducing Nair Quick and Simple 15-Second Microwave Wax. The easy way to get salon-style waxing at home. Smoother legs, weeks longer. Nair Microwave Wax. How do you get healthy hair like this? Hair with this sheen and body? This texture? Glow? Feature dark pedigree. With new champion skin and coat system in every can and bag. This multi-nutrient formula works from the inside to help make your dog skin and coat the healthiest it can be. Pedigree with new Champion Skin and Coat System. Developed with the vets at the Waltham Center. Recommended by top breeders. This commercial will last 15 seconds. Now think about it. That's five seconds longer than it takes to clean your shower. Don't clean your shower. Get clean shower. Deep into summer beauty with the July issue of Allure magazine, jam-packed with the hottest tips and tricks. To keep your feet looking their summer best, pamper them with regular pedicures, and always prepare for the unexpected. Check out the July issue of Allure on newsstands now. Hey, Miami, Dr. Schultz wants to know, how do you treat your feet? Being in the sun, my feet and legs take a beating really dry. We have a new crack skin repair cream. It has a moisture-attracting ingredient to help repair dry, cracked skin. Very soft. Nice. Do you have someone at home to give you a foot massage? No, but I'll find somebody. <laughs> I'll take potent potent.
potable for 100, Alex? This heady brew has been called cruel gruel by its critics and a sardonic tonic by its fans. Ooh, ooh. Talk soon? I'm sorry, John, but your answer must be phrased in the form of a question. Oh, okay, uh, what is a uh, lame bump back? Moving on. Last week, E's very own Howard Stern appeared on the Magic Hour. <laughs> it was a big deal. A very big deal. In fact, the episode was such a major media event, it beat Leno and Letterman's ratings combined. After you check out this highlight, I think you'll understand why. This okay. does need some work. I think Sheila will admit that. First of all, Sheila, the first night you came out, you're showing your breasts, you were showing some legs. <laughs> Tonight, you dress more conservative than Magic. <laughs> Well, you, really should. well, you know she can't rip off her top. She can rip off her top. She used to be with Prince. He was ripping her top off every night. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, right, right. All right, what else? What else? What else? All right, the thing you need to work on, in my estimation, seriously, is that you've got to stop trying to talk like the white man. <laughs> Is, uh, I, I, read a, I read a fascinating article about you that they got a hold of you and gave you a speech coach, mm -hmm. and they gave you a, uh, what, what, what other kind of coach? Uh, an interview coach. An interview coach. For crying out loud, what do you need? Uh, uh, anybody can interview. It's very simple, but what they're doing is they're tripping you up. Okay. Everybody's anti-ebonics. I say let it fly. <laughs> Or should I call you Irvin? Either or. I'll call you Irvin. Okay. Because everyone else calls you Magic. All right. Irvin, what you need to do, <laughs> my brother, my brother, is to uh, really get down with it. Everyone's trying to get you to talk like the white man. I think this show should loosen up and you talk Ebonics all you want. Okay. All right. Earlier in the show, Howard took to the stage with his band, The Losers, for this unorthodox version of the hit song, Wipeout. <laughs> The guy who had to hold the microphone. <laughs> Haven't you people ever heard of a mic stand, for God's sake? Uh. Good Lord. Tuesday on the Magic Hour, an interview with actor Bernie Mac. Oh, yeah, I've hung with the Mac man. The Mac Daddy has appeared in such films as Booty Call and The Players Club. He ain't scared of you. Before country star Monty Holmes released his new album, When You Start Looking So Good, he wrote some of the biggest country hits ever. And before he wrote those big hits, he worked in a hospital with an instrument called an incentive spirometer. Ooh. Now, he loves making music, but on lonely nights, he still yearns for the old spirometer. Up next, Monty shows Crook and Chase how to test their lung capacity. Well, you're supposed to exhale first, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then uh, exhale. Okay. No, you're breathing in. Okay. Exhale. Okay. And breathe. And Watch. She's I breathing suck on it, Lori. Okay, and then... That's pretty That's good. good. Uh, almost up to 2,500. <clears throat> wow. What can you do, Charlie? These things taste awesome. He's the man. right now I'm hiring a kite. You know. <laughs> From now on, I'll be able to say, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> be nice. Let's try this again. I can't believe it. What can you do? Exhale all the way. No, you breathe in. No, I... Breathe mm -hmm. out first and then inhale. <clears throat> she doesn't take direction very well, does she? <laughs> That's all I can all do. Right, all right, all right. We're going to have... Do. We're gonna have to. I don't know. I don't. Come on, try it, Monty. Okay, here we go. Okay, he's gonna try it once. <laughs> All the way oh, up. Oh, no. yeah. There's something a little strange about Charlie's spirometer. Can we see that footage one more time, please? Charlie, and to think I thought you were a narc. <laughs> Big hitter. Tuesday on Crook and Chase, please make Victoria Shaw feel right at home. The singer-songwriter has written four number one country hits. The I don't think what just gave me just now. Was it Victoria? Yeah. 
Sit tight, we got more hilarity to come. In a little while, I'll be opening up some bogus viewer mail. It's the only kind we get, folks. Plus, some nut wears breast implants to win a bet. But first, a gay man is accused of embarrassing the gay community. Well, he does have a bad haircut. You are the sorriest excuse for a fad we have. Sit down. Tonight, E solves another case of dress distress with fashion emergency. Mike and Natalie are used to the cold air of Aspen, but they need something to heat them up when they venture inside. Now, will some silky sleepwear from Joe Boxer coax this cold weather couple into getting comfy cozy? So, if the shoe fits, the jewels sparkle, and the bag works, then wear it. E's Fashion Emergency, tonight at 9.30 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. You deserve to look fantastic at your class reunion. You deserve to wear a swimsuit on your vacation. You deserve absolutely stunning wedding pictures. You deserve to look sensational starting today. You deserve a great offer. Start Jenny Craig now and lose 20 pounds for just $20 plus the cost of food. Call 1-800-45-JENNY. That's 1-800-45-JENNY. Welcome to Bug Heaven. We have bigger bugs. Prehistoric pterodactyl skeeters. We asked Avon Skin So Soft users to compare Skin So Soft repellent to Oskintastic for kids. Oskintastic is not greasy. No! Oskintastic for kids repels mosquitoes for over two hours. Skin So Soft repellent doesn't come close. I used it and I didn't have not one bite. We've switched. No bugs, no bugs! No it feels great on and keeps bugs off. Oskintastic! From S.C. Johnson Wax. He's an international sex symbol, but his heart belongs to one woman. Antonio Banderas, Celebrity Profile, this Wednesday at 8, only on... Class, this is Charlie. You get to watch television? It's not just television, it's cable in the classroom. And it's not just watching, it's an adventure. Cable in the Classroom is commercial free and delivered to schools free by cable. Volunteer to help your school build a video library. Now, Cable in the Classroom comes home. We have to go back for lunch. I found that Cable Shopper brought me a lot of recognition from the public. And uh, in my business, you have to be in front of the public. Otherwise, uh, if they don't know who you are, there's no reason for them to call you. And I found that this has uh, helped me dramatically. It does make me feel very good to uh, get compliments on the show. I definitely would recommend other businesses to advertise on CCTV uh, because of the recognition it brings to your business. Are you stuck in a dead-end job with no real chance for advancement? Me too! <laughs> You're watching Talk Soup. I'm John Henson. Parents love a children's story with a good moral. They also love to make the little freaks behave by screwing with their heads. So imagine Ma and Pa's delight when a new book called The Secret Knowledge of Grown-Ups came out. This book combines morality with mind games for a most disturbing reading experience. Up next, CBS This Morning correspondent Russ Mitchell talks about the bestseller with bookstore owner Valerie Lewis. This next one is hysterical. It's called The Secret Knowledge of Grown-Ups. David Wisniewski did all of the illustrations from tiny little razor blades in this. This is top secret information about why parents tell children not to eat their vegetables, why they tell them to um, always drink their milk. And they explain in this book, here's growing up rule number 31, eat your vegetables. Official reason, they're good for you. <laughs> the truth, you don't eat vegetables because they're good for you. You eat vegetables to keep them under control. Uh. Millions of years ago, vegetables ruled the earth. Big bunches of broccoli stalked through the jungles, followed by ferocious carrots and savage packs of peas. Huge heads of lettuce roamed the grasslands, and giant celery stalked the plains. And what were these terrible vegetables looking for? You guessed it, people. Yes, these were meat-eating vegetables. Well, parents, if you enjoyed that book, I'd like to recommend a few more. How about... Homework Gives You Cancer, a wonderful little book that makes stunning and even more traumatic experience. Then there's Brush the Evil Spirits Off Your Teeth, 
proper oral hygiene has never been more horrifying. And finally, Mommy and Daddy are getting a divorce, and it's all your fault. A lighthearted explanation of the role you played in the demise of your family. Yeah, that one's my favorite. Tuesday on CBS This Morning, haughty lifestyle contributor Martha Stewart will be back with more tips. They'll include how to make people feel inferior by pointing out their imperfections. That's Tuesday. When John last appeared on The Springer Show, it was to confess his gay love affair. He said he wanted to tell his girlfriend he was bisexual, but it just slipped his mind. That excuse and his haircut caught the attention of a gay couple named Juan and Walter. Up next, they give a piece of their mind to John in front of God, Jerry Springer, and a nationally televised audience. Here are Juan and Walter. are down. Okay. Uh, Juan and Walter, welcome to the show. First of all, nice shoes. Uh, okay. Why, uh, what are you up? You saw the show. You're upset with him. Why? He's sorry as hell. Just sorry as hell. How are you going to come out here and try to call yourself a fag and try to destroy people's lives acting stupid as hell? Let me tell you something. Tell me. That's fag. Relax, 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 relax. Oh, man, was that lame. Did you see that? Let me tell you something. Tell me. That's back. Oh, it sure was. But not as much as this. Yeah, check this out right here. Whoa, boy. That's, that's the old Caligula Colonic right there. Tuesday on Jerry, it's the Battle of the Babes. In keeping with fine Springer tradition, these babes are all lesbians and they're all involved in love triangles. Hey, when you got it, roll with it, baby. Yeah. Still to come on this tawdry edition of The Soup, two sisters who get it on. You don't want to miss this. Plus, it's the torrid love story of a man and his hammer handle. But first, bloodthirsty animals threaten to devour Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. I'll be looking at that bear. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, really. We definitely need to keep him away from the bear. Get away from the bear. Yes. What is that? That's, what's a bear? What's the bear? <laughs> A secret almost stopped his promising career. I realized he couldn't understand a word I was saying. His Hollywood affair ended two marriages. I've never really talked about this, especially in the press. We have to be very careful of all that. But for Antonio Banderas, true love endured. We were meant to be together. And an international star was born. He is a renaissance man and so involved in film. Real stars, real stories. Antonio Banderas Celebrity Profile. This Wednesday at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E! Why make a trip for contact lenses? Get them delivered for less than you're paying now. No appointments, no driving around. Call 1-800-CONTACTS. Save the trip, save the money. We all know that furniture polish smears glass. And glass cleaner leaves wood looking dry. So it can often be very frustrating cleaning combination furniture. Now there's a way to end that stress. New Pledge Wood and Glass, made from a balanced cleaning formula with natural citrus extracts. It brings out your wood's inner beauty and leaves your glass sparkling. Ah. Pledge Wood and Glass, a clean combination. Essie Johnson Wax. Big Kid, look who's on Pull-Up's training pants. Mickey Mouse looks just like Big Kid underwear, so you'll want to wear them. Mommy, wow. I'm a Big Kid now. Biore, pour perfect face strips. They pull out dirt like this. Because only Biore has the pore target system that's twice as effective at deep cleaning clogged pores as any other strip. <laughs> 
that looks like a cactus. You're in. Clean. Honest. There's never been anything like them. Nothing. 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 Introducing. Introducing. New Playtex Odor Absorbing Tampon. They give you all the odor protection you want and nothing more. No scent. No fragrance. No nothing. That's because new Playtex Odor Absorbing Tampons are the first and only tampons that actually eliminate odor by absorbing it naturally. Naturally. It's the freshest way to feel clean ever. New Playtex Odor Absorbing Tampons. All the odor protection you want and nothing more. I've always fed my dogs meat. Meat's what they love, and meat's healthy for them. So you might ask, what am I doing filling these bowls with what appears to be dry dog food? Well, this is not ordinary dry dog food. This is new pedigree prime, and the primary ingredient is high-quality chicken meat. It even tastes meaty. Then they added everything else dogs need for the best nutrition. We've got lots of very strong reasons to believe in it. New pedigree prime, developed with the vets at the Waltham Center, recommended by top breeders. Hi, I'm Carl Reiner, and you're watching E! Entertainment Television. I was on the very first show 20 years ago. They gave me a plastic earring, which I still have someplace. Welcome back. Hey, John, guess what time it is? Is it time for some birthday cake? No, it's time for the Talk Soup Quote of the Week. I still want some cake. You could have your cake. And a balloon. This week's quote comes from The Jerry Show. Here's two incestuous sisters responding to Freud's age-old question, what does a woman want? A woman knows what, what a, a woman, woman wants. wants. Whoa, oh, you said yeah. something there, sisters. <laughs> we'll see more of those incestuous babes later in the show. Pressing forward. Want to create an instant action hero for kids? Just string along a bunch of kooky adjectives. Like, for example, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. It's a surefire formula. <laughs> Up next, Conan looks at the latest action heroes to cash in on this time-honored tradition. Right around now, they're debuting the Country Cuckoo Clock Codpiece Zulu Warriors. <laughs> country Cuckoo Clock Codpiece Zulu Warriors. That's what it says right here. I, I want to I see this. I guess kids can buy this. Let's see. Well, I, I don't remember reading about that tribe in my National Geographic. Of course, I was always looking up the Zulu women. Yep, the sneaky kids playboy. <laughs> yeah, lonely Johnny, all by himself in the attic. Hey, Johnny, why don't you go outside and play with the other kids? No, Mom, I want to learn all about foreign cultures. <laughs> in the attic. With a bottle of lotion. <laughs> Wednesday on Late Night, Conan gives Ben Stiller a Dutch rub. Ben's got a new flick coming out called Something About Mary, and he owes Conan a really bad wedgie. Yeah. We're still working on our dance moves, but I think we got something there. Billy Z is quite a character. Do you know what this fast-talking rascal did? He went out and got himself some breasts. Oh, yeah, he sure did. Apparently, a plastic surgeon bet him a hundred grand that he wouldn't wear breast implants for an entire year. Well, sir, 365 days later, Billy Z is a hundred G's richer and sporting some major cleavage. Yeah. I hear he's even filed a restraining order against himself. Poor guy can't resist copping a feel. Hmm, I wonder what the gals at The View would think. This is just the sort of thing they love to chat about. He's had them for over a year. He won't take those things out. He says women love them. Yeah. Well, he must be dating lesbians then. He's, He's dating, dating lesbians he and is women dating love them. showgirls in Vegas who have never been happy. Lesbians. What? <laughs> if you were so cocktail about it, you were like crazy over I this story. I could not. I just can't even say it. <laughs> what kind of you think of this? But for a million, I'd grow a penis. Oh, I would. Hey! 
understand they see has motivation mm -hmm. what's with the girls that want to do it with a net I, I, I don't mean, know but you know what i'm having you know, trouble you know, with I, it. I would be a little intimidated if my boyfriend's breasts were bigger than mine oh hey i'd be intimidated too if my girlfriend's penis were bigger than mine it's not you know so that's that's not a problem Tuesday on The View, it's I Hate My Life Day. I wonder if I'll be on the panel. Americans who lead lives of quiet desperation will search for some reason to justify their miserable existence. Topics will include self-loathing, drinking to avoid pain, and pleasant ways to off yourself. Drinking pain. Uh... <laughs> yes, Tom. Drinking pain. I could be wrong, but I think animal expert Julie Scardino of Bush Gardens is a little sadistic. And this Tonight Show clip, she brings out a tiny little bear club and cub and sticks them up in a tree. Yeah. Then she brings out two baby cougars and taunts the deadly critters with a teddy bear. And then she laughs like it's a big joke. <laughs> I tell you, <ya>, animal experts. <laughs> <laughs> and now, a clip we inexplicably titled, John Cougar's Melon Camp. Oh, and I've got one of their favorite toys that I'd like to show you. We're going to go ahead and put them down. I'll be looking at that bear. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, not, not really. We definitely need to keep him away from the bear. Keep him away from the bear. Look, what is that? That's, what's a bear? Oh, what's yeah. you, what's a bear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You say keep away from the bear, and then come out with a bear. Well, we didn't want him to go after the real one. <laughs> can I put him down? He wants yeah, to the other bear. Yeah, you can put him down. Oh, he's eating the couch over here. Yeah, yeah. Go get the bear. Go get the bear. Oh, now you gotta go. <laughs> you kind of hold it up in the air and see if he'll jump for it. Yeah. Here you go, here you go, here you go. There you go. That's right. Rip that bear apart. <laughs> now, I assume these guys like to eat bear. Oh, actually not, but since uh, our little bear is so tiny over right, there, this is the, their favorite toy. We wanted to make sure we gave him the toy instead of the real okay up there. You, see, right. you hear what he's doing right there? Yeah. He is a little bit nervous at the fact yeah. that these guys are out here well, right now. Well, tell me about these guys. How old are these guys now? These guys are about three months. And, ouch. <laughs> and uh, these, <laughs> these, as well as the wolves, have been uh, hunted and persecuted throughout uh, yeah. North American history. Lights, please. Others that have been persecuted throughout North American history include Native Americans, African Americans, the Jews, and the Jews. Oh, come on. Hasn't he suffered enough, folks? Let him golf in peace. <laughs> you might be a redneck if you tune into Wednesday's Tonight Show. That's just a lame way of saying that comic Jeff Foxworthy will be Jay's special guest. You know, couldn't think of anything else to do. Just a promo. Yeah. Oh, boy, are we on a roll. Hot diggity. And we still haven't even read any viewer mail. <laughs> Sock the mighty, do we have a Lulu of a letter for you. Also ahead, magic goes one-on-one -on -one with a capuchin monkey. All right. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh. He was not just another kid actor. Well, he had a kind of understanding about life that was pretty amazing. There was a vulnerability underneath it. It's not me. I think he thought he was invulnerable. Hey, I, what do you mean heroin? I don't even eat meat. And he was just completely strung out. He said, you have a demon dancing on your shoulder. He was in a flat line, which meant there was no heart activity whatsoever. Yeah, there's no need to overstay. You're welcome. River Phoenix, tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific on the E! True Hollywood Story. In a perfect world, golf balls would taste more like gumballs. In the real world, Diet Dr. Pepper does taste more like regular Dr. Pepper. It's the taste you've been looking for. Hey, look at these strips from Pond. 
Yeah, they're not just for noses anymore. The shape fits my forehead perfectly. They clean up your blackheads. Yeah, I'm just glad it's here and not on my face anymore. New Con Clear Pore Strips for your face are the only ones contoured for foreheads, chins, cheeks, and noses, all in one box. They deep clean to unclog pores and gently lift blackheads away. It's like a blackhead convention. <laughs> New Clear Pore Strips, contoured for your whole face. Bye-bye, blackheads! From the Pond Institute. Got a clog? Get the best clog remover. Is it Liquid Plumber or Drano? Actually, professional strength Liquid Plumber clog remover works twice as fast. Yes, there is a best. Today we face an ongoing threat. The unthinkable possibility of moms running out of Rice Krispies treat squares. For our children eat them on the beaches and on the playgrounds, in their rooms and in the malls. Our kids love them. And we love our kids. So fortify your cupboards and pantries. Look this threat in the eye. And victory will be ours. What'd you think? Not bad for a guy his size. Now wait a minute. You know it makes me want to shout. Chow gets out more tough, stains better than spray and wash. In just one try. It's one of Chow's stain out the first time. Shout it out. Nancy Johnson Wax. Hi, I'm Ellen Generous. And I'm Ellen's mom, Betty. And you're watching E! Entertainment Television. That's correct. This is Talk Soup. Every week, we're binging and purging the best moments from TV Talk. Sort of like Bellini, only without the puke. I'm John Henson. <laughs> During his stellar basketball career, Magic Johnson went head-to-head -head with a bird, the big dog, and the worm. I'm referring, of course, to Larry Bird, Antoine Carr, and Dennis Rodman. But up until this clip, he hasn't had to play ball with a capuchin monkey. So brace yourselves, sports fans, because this little fellow's got better ball control than most evolved primates. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, just toss it under her hand. She'll catch it. Okay. She'll raise her right hand when you raise your left hand. Yeah. And as hard as you fire it, she's going to fire it back to okay. you. Okay. Okay. All right, Crystal. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's try it again. My fault. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we lose it. We lost it, Crystal. What else can she do? Um, actually, she likes to end every performance <laughs> with a little dance routine. Oh, dance yeah, routine. We're going to need some music for Taylor, this. Taylor, can you give me a beat? Let me see. something oh, yeah. i should know i've worked with that monkey really? yeah <laughs> he loves to party you want another drink okay you smell good that that's bull man you knew that i liked her and you went after her anyway <laughs> i love you man <laughs> hey no hard feelings get some yeah yeah, get some dumb dumb. Work it, baby. And you got lice. I didn't want to say it, but there, it's out. Man, I'm your buddy, but I ain't going home with you. I, I got a jungle gym in my house. You want to go watch Animal Planet? All right, don't tell anybody. Nobody knows me here. All right, we're out of here. You drive. I'm hammered. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn monkey tagged a car in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, and you know it's not enough to file for insurance. My deductible's so high, I just had to pay it. Damn monkey. Thursday on the Magic Hour, Sherry Belafonte will be the featured guest. The daughter of Sherry lost the weight and kept it off by eating two sensible meals and then enjoying a slim fast shake at night. That's 
sudden feeling of sensitivity on my chest can mean one of only two things. Either I've grown another nipple, or it's time to read a little viewer mail. Hey, all right. All right. <laughs> Phew. That's the last thing I need is a fourth nipple. <laughs> this week's letter is actually an email from a woman named Sarah. She writes, Dear John, are you a psychic, and can you read my fortune? Actually, I'm having a hard enough time reading your spelling. No, I, uh, I am not a psychic, but when I'm at work, I wish I was. Sometimes I wonder what my co-workers think of me. Hey, Steve. Hi, John. <laughs> Tarnation! That is one fine-looking ride you got there, Mr. Steve. Oh, why, thanks, John. It means a lot coming from you. And that sure is a sweet little furball. Boy, howdy, he's so cute, I could spit. <laughs> Check it out. Did you see the article about Talk Soup and Entertainment Weekly? They love the writing. All right. And check out what they say about me. John Henson is one of the most fresh and original voices on cable. Joking with the crew or playing to the camera, he keeps things lively and unpredictable. Henson says he likes working without a net and that his best jokes are usually ad lib. Hi, Kristen. Oh, hi, John. I know E employees aren't supposed to fraternize, but uh, I'd sure like to go out with you. Well, you are awfully well-groomed. You bet. And I know you love to dance. You'd better believe it, sister. Ah, oh, sorry, John. Maybe next time. Why don't you ask Alan? <laughs> Alan? <laughs> Girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get funky. Yeah, baby. Get some. Oh, yeah. The man. The truest artist I've ever known. The music. The murder. His father pointed the gun at Marvin and fired. Find out why Marvin Gaye was shot down in cold blood by his own father. I think he wanted his dad to take him out. His father may have pulled the trigger, but they killed him. It's the shocking true story of Motown's greatest singer. He just wanted people to love him for his music. Marvin Gaye, tomorrow at 8 Eastern and Pacific on the E! True Hollywood Story. Smooth, sexy legs you'd think were waxing the salon. Until now. <laughs> Introducing Nair Quick and Simple 15-Second Microwave Wax. The easy way to get salon-style waxing at home. Smoother legs, weeks longer. Nair Microwave Wax. Hey, it's Chris Rock. 1-800-COLLECT wants to send you to the premiere of Lethal Weapon 4 starring me, Mel Gibson, and Danny Glover. Even better, they want to fly you to Australia for the international premiere. That's right, Australia. Home of my lethal weapon mate, Mel Gibson. What did you say? Just complete a 1-800-COLLECT call and you're automatically in. The more 1-800-COLLECT calls you make, the more chances you have to win. Beautiful. 1-800-COLLECT. The way to call collect. Let's get out of here. See you in Australia. Walk into a house clean with pine saw, mm, and you know it's clean. Well, now... There's a new smell of clean, new rain clean pine saw. The power of pine saw, but with a fresh scent. Mmm, like after a spring rain. New rain clean pine saw. Where's the best place to list it? Sell it, show it, tell it, say it, display it, explain it, proclaim it. CCTV, your neighborhood network. It's a whole channel with local listings for real estate, car and boat sales, restaurants, community events, and more. Big opportunities, big returns. CCTV, your neighborhood network from Comcast. Get results. Advertise your business on Comcast CCTV Channel 18. We're about ready to rock steady. Send your beloved.
belated birthday presents to Toss Soup E, P.O. Box 4897. Remember, two presents are better than one. Los Angeles, California, Nina 0048, or if you're one of those email freaks, write to us at TalkSoup at eEntertainment.com. Come on, it's that Johnny from Jason. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Tim and his wife, Tina, have known each other for 16 years. They were childhood sweethearts and have been happily married since 1992. So imagine Dina's surprise when she found out Tim likes sleeping with other men and videotaping himself masturbating with a hammer handle. What? <laughs> that puts a real crimp in the relationship, Tom. Yeah. For more on Tim's bizarre home movies, let's turn things over to our dear friend, Jerry Springer. Why wouldn't you tell her that you had these crazy and I cared for? Yeah, what? right. You cared more for your than anything else. <laughs> Drop. Along with your cucumber and your hammer handle, little Mr. Splinter. Oh, going. Not to mention wearing women's frilly underwear and grooming yourself and kissing yourself in front of the mirror saying, I love you while you're off you my house. While you were out flutting around. You. Now I know why when I came home from yeah, Walmart with my mom, you were so tired because Lefty it? and Righty gave up, huh? Is, <laughs> is any of this true, what she's saying? Yeah. Oh, it's all true. I it got is video true. Good Lord, a hammer handle, different rooms. It sounds like a kinky game of Clue, doesn't it? Oh, man. He masturbated with a candlestick in the parlor with Colonel Mustard. <laughs> yeah, I guess the Colonel watched. Whatever. Thursday on Jerry, a 77-year-old woman fights for the love of a man a third her age. Ew. Greta Blackburn is the editor of Ms. Fitness Magazine and the chief drill instructor at the Booty Camp in Malibu, California. Oh, yeah. She's more than just a pretty face. Greta cares about people's butts. And this next highlight, she'll work on the tired tuchus of Charlie Chase and the shapely backside of one Laurie Ann Crook. But, you know, at first I want to warm up the booty, so let's do a little side to side, side to side. Okay. Okay, get them going. We're just warming up the booty, getting it going. I want to see, I want to see that booty attitude, okay? Okay, now let's loose the rope. Let's loose the rope. On your knees, soldiers. Where are we going? On your okay. knees. All right. Oh, no. I want you to pretend like you're in a jar of honey, and you've got to scrape the honey off the sides of the jar with your booty. Don't move it. Scrape it. Really get in there. Dig it up. Dig it out. And uh, last time I asked a girl to get down on all fours and wipe the honey with her butt, I wound up in the jug. Hard time. Cell block D. Me and a guy named Daddy. <laughs> Learned a lot of booty attitude in there, I'll tell you. Coming up after the break, it's our clip of the week. In just a moment, the unholy of unholies. Two sisters engage in a love that dare not speak its name. A secret almost stopped his promising career. I realized he couldn't understand a word I was saying. His Hollywood affair ended two marriages. I've never really talked about this, especially in the press. We had to be very careful about all that. But for Antonio Banderas, true love endured. We were meant to be together. And an international star was born. He is a renaissance man and so involved in film. Real stars, real stories. Antonio Banderas Celebrity Profile. This Wednesday at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E! Have you ever been tempted by fruit? Everybody likes fruit. Fresh fruit. Everybody loves fruit. Wild fruit. Home bodies. Shy bodies. Fruit of the loom. It's underwear. Get it? Fruit of the loom. Everybody loves fruit. Everybody loves fruit. Everybody. To reduce your bill, call GEICO Direct. Unless you believe in the car insurance fairy. <laughs> GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh? <laughs> Still paying too much for car insurance? <laughs> GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. Women love shampooing with Clairol Herbal Essences, reveling in the natural botanicals and organic herbs. Yes, yes. But we'd also like to remind you... Yes! 
Man like it too. Herbal essences, a totally organic experience. Hey, check this out. It's the new Nice and Easy from Clairol. Now the conditioner travels with the color in a rich conditioning color cream. So you get color that's absolutely fabulous. Stop that, sweet. Why do the classics endure? Why do we turn to them again and again? Maybe because the things we still value were done right. Like Hidden Valley. It was the first ranch. The authentic original recipe. It's not new or improved. Because we did it right. Hidden Valley. The way ranch is supposed to taste. Got a clog? You want the best clog remover? Is it Liquid Plumber or Drano? They're all the same, right? Actually, one works faster than the other, which is nice. In fact, it's twice as fast, which is incredible. Professional strength liquid plumber clog remover. Whoa. Yes, there is a best. Check out the chat on Talk Soup. Ask John about life and love, play concentration, or visit the photo gallery. Just type www.eonline.com or AOL keyword E. Costumes furnished by Adels of Hollywood. Rentals and sales of all kinds of costumes. If you need a costume, what the hell? Call Adele. It's a crime against nature. It's a social taboo, but to Heather and Kim, it's a heck of a good time. In this Springer highlight, we meet sisters who are practicing incest, and to hear them tell it, same-sex familial relations are a carefree romp in the park. Ladies and germs, pre-ops and post-ops, presenting our talk soup clip of the week. Here's Kim. your sister yeah <laughs> isn't isn't this sick i mean you, you, you no i don't think it's sick i mean be honest jerry i mean i'm being honest this is sick. i mean it's all good oh, yeah. i ain't got nothing to hide it's all good hey. Hey. you know if you're bisexual or you're a lesbian that's that's totally different i'm not talking about that i'm talking about this is your sister your blood relative and yeah you don't think that's sacrilegious no. No. No, you don't think this we is not incest? We I incest are best. We used to, <laughs> we used to take a bath together. Right. Hey, I we know her body, she knows mine. Hey, a woman knows what, what a, a woman, woman wants. Yeah. Well, <laughs> later Heather told Jerry that she thinks God wouldn't have put her and Kim on earth if he didn't want this to happen. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Wasn't it Jeffrey Dahmer who said, if God hadn't intended me to eat Laotian boys, he wouldn't have made them so darn delicious. <laughs> Friday on Jerry. You'll never guess, folks. Lesbians, lesbians, and more lesbians. Yeah. One woman feels bad because she's cheating on her gal pal with another guy. You know, just wanted to see how the other half lives. That's all. Just a little experimentation. Well, that's it for this edition of Talk Soup. Just a reminder to tune into our daily show every weeknight at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. We'll have a fresh half hour of highlights for you. Hey, John, for your birthday, we all, all the boys chipped in and we got you something. Oh, you guys. Go ahead, open it up. You'll never guess what it is. It's a hammer handle. <laughs> you probably want to be alone. Oh, yeah. You guys are so sweet. But, you know, you didn't have to do that. I'm a simple man with simple needs. Real sex. I need hair pulling, ass slapping. I just want to go home and relax. Of course, right now I'm hiring a kite. Huh? You know, just let off a little steam. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this weekend I'll hit a couple of the L.A. hotspots. Walmart, Kmart, Kroger's. 
The important thing is that you guys know that you suck and that I care deeply for each and every one of you. So thanks for making this the best birthday ever, huh? Time to go break in this hammer handle. All right. <laughs> oh.